We will now test the theory of capacitors connected in parallel circuits through a simulation. As a reminder from our previous video, we must always keep in mind the definition of capacitance. In our upcoming simulations, we will look to confirm the rules governing parallel circuits. The first rule is conservation of charge. The second rule is equipotential paths. When combined, this will result in the calculation of equivalent capacitance, which for parallel circuits is just the sum of the capacitance of the individual capacitors. We will now test these rules through a simulation provided by fed.colorado.edu. Switch to the tab labeled Multiple Capacitors. Have the simulation calculate total capacitance and stored charge for you. Also have the voltmeter ready. Let's consider two capacitors in parallel. By default, the simulation sets each of their capacitance to 0.1 picofarads. According to theory, and verified by the simulation, this will result in a sum total of 0.2 picofarads capacitance. Now let's induce a voltage that we can now check with the voltmeter. Notice that across the circuit as a whole, the potential drop is equivalent to the electromotive force provided by the battery. You can check mathematically that the total charge induced 
on the plates as a whole is given by the mathematics of total capacitance times the voltage. The rules are going to work even when the capacitances are different. You can again verify that the total capacitance for parallel capacitors is just the sum of their individual capacitance. You can again verify that the total charge is equal to the product of the voltage times the total capacitance. Using the voltmeter, you can also verify that along any uninterrupted path, the voltage is going to be the same Whereas for any interrupted combinations, the voltage drop will be the same as that of any element parallel to it. Make sure to experiment with variations in capacitance and even including a third capacitor to verify the mathematics and rules. Once you are comfortable with this and have also reviewed the videos on series circuits, you can experiment with more complicated circuit designs.